Hello, we're Purple Banditos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we continued our legendary hunting and we caught a ton. In today's episode, we're going to finish it up and catch the remaining legendaries here in the Ziri and Lauren regions. Now, before we do that, we actually need to battle one more trainer, and here he is. Hi, I'm from Unova, a distant region. I want to show you the power of Pokemon. Let's go ahead and take him on. So after defeating Blair here, which is the Unova region's, you know, Pokemon guy, the big trainer, the big shot for them, we actually unlock access to all of the Unova Pokemon, so that is what we're going to be doing today. So today we should be able to wrap up all of the legendaries left in this game, at least that's what I'm hoping for. So we're going to start things off here in Central City. Now we are probably going to be doing quite a bit of backtracking, but as I said to you guys, I want to keep them in an orderly fashion, just to, you know, keep it going in a good pattern so you guys can follow along if you are trying to catch these legendaries now we're actually making our way towards Inor Woods if you guys remember that Inor Woods I believe that's what it was pronounced I remember going through this at the beginning of our adventure and now right up here is where we will catch our first legendary and as you could see you heard the little pokeball catching sound and it's because it gets transferred to the PC now let's go find the other two now we're back here in Kasaka City. Also, as I was saying, it just gets transferred to your PC if you just hear the sound. So if you go ahead and make your way towards the Inor Woods, you can check your PC after and the Pokemon will be right there. We are actually going after the Swords of Justice today. So that's Virizion, Terrakion, and Cobalion. So let's keep on looking for them though. There's going to be one more right up here then. And I believe this one is going to be Terrakion. So we already caught Virizion near Inor Woods. Terrakion is actually just hanging out here. So they're not going to have their sprites you know running around or whatever it is like we have for the previous Pokemon these guys are just hiding in patches of grass that you're gonna have to randomly find and bump into now these locations that I'm showing you guys are the most common location for these Pokemon I'm pretty sure if you're looking for them they're gonna be located here in these areas so make sure you go to these exact patches of grass and you'll be able to find them so with that we went ahead and caught Terrakion now we only have Cobalion left so let's go ahead and make our way back to Kasaka City Kasaka City seems to be the one place that we really constantly have to come back to it is just such a central location that we have to go to the right to the left upwards and onwards to make our way anywhere so we are back here in route 505 I know kind of strange because we came through this route but that's not what I was trying to do I was just kind of trying to show you guys that Kasaka City is where these two Pokemon are located and we're gonna have a battle so let's take this trainer on All right, so fairly easy battle. I hope I don't have to do any more, at least while we're catching this Pokemon. So right up here in this patch of grass is where we'll be finding the last Swords of Justice. So oh, justice, justice, justice. And there we have it, guys. It's Cobalion. So let's go ahead and catch it. And with that, we will be looking good to continue in our adventure. Now, there's still quite a bit to be caught today. So don't worry about that. We still have quite a bit of running around to do. But with that, guys, we caught the trio of the Swords of Justice. Justice. I know that we still have one more, but it's actually not in this game if you're thinking about Keldeo. So with that, guys, we went ahead and caught Cobalion. So let's continue on and make our way to the next location where we will be finding our next legendary Pokemon. Okay, guys, so we're back here in Central City. As I mentioned to you before, we do have to make our way to Inor Woods one more time. Now, I'm just doing it in an orderly fashion. I guess after you catch Verizion, you could literally run into the Inor Woods and look for this next Pokemon. Now, this was actually one of the Pokemon that I wasn't even too sure that was in this game because there are so many legendaries that I wasn't even sure what all of them were. But I went ahead and, you know, listened to your comments, and you guys told me that little Shaman is going to be inside of the Inor Woods. So let's go ahead and make our way inside then and begin looking for it. I know it's going to be somewhere here. I don't know where exactly it is. If you guys remember, Inor Woods was where we had to deal with all these little Pokemon that were attacking all these places and wouldn't let you leave. The Combies were attacking everybody and going crazy because Team Steam was going crazy. It's kind of been a while since we went through here, but 
but it's kind of cool seeing this place it makes you wonder and makes you realize how much you've really grown and how much we've gone through in this adventure but it's not here anywhere near the combies i actually thought shaman would be located here but let's keep on looking maybe it'll be near the next exit i think this is probably one of the best ways to get to inner woods too by the way guys you could probably come from the northern route but i preferred to do it this way because i wanted to look but we're gonna go ahead and take on this guy Okay, so let's keep on looking. Shaman, where are you? You're hiding here somewhere. And there it is. So with that, guys, we are ready to take on Shaman. So let's go ahead and challenge another one of these legendaries. Now, Shaman's actually really cool. I like how it's in two different forms. You see one form on the sprite and one form here when we're battling it. Kind of a little bit strange, but we're going to go ahead and use another Master Ball on it. And with that, we are looking quite good. So make sure you guys get Shaman. A lot of people actually don't know that this Pokemon's in this game. I don't know why, but a lot of people forget about it. So make sure if you're going for all the Legendaries or 100% completion that you pick up this little Shaman. It's cute. It's nice. But with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and make our way out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next location. Okay, so we're back here at Mount Ice Storm. Now, this is just a little bit to the west of Snow Sea City. If you guys remember, this is the one route that you need to get to Snow Sea. So you can just fly to Snow Sea and then make your way here to the west side, I believe. It's not too difficult of a route. It's just very, very long. So I decided to just take us here directly to Mount Ice Storm. Now, here in Mount Ice Storm, we're actually going to be going after two big legendaries in this game. And it's inside of Mount Winter that they're located. If you guys remember, we saw Team Steve here doing all their crazy shenanigans and we actually saw two altars which I had no idea what they were gonna be for I thought they were just kind of there for looks but it turns out that we're actually gonna have to do something here in these altars in order to find legendary Pokemon so it's kind of cool that they placed something there a long time ago I remember the first time we went through Mount Winter and it's kind of cool that it comes back now but with that we are gonna go ahead and take on the first of these legendaries and that is Zekrom up ahead so let's go ahead and challenge it I guess you could easily tell who the two are going to be here. It's going to be Zekrom and Reshiram located here at the top of Mount Winter, which is really freaking cool, if I must say so myself. I actually thought there was going to be some big legendaries, so it's kind of nice to see them. With that, guys, we're going to go ahead and catch the Zekrom then. I don't know why, but seeing these Pokemon always gives me a bit of a good feeling. They kind of remind me of when I was first playing through Unova, and it makes me a little bit nostalgic myself because I feel like Unova was one of those regions with a really nice story that I definitely bonded a good bit with. I thought it was a really great story having N with it and all the sorts of crazy stuff that you went through. I really like that region surprisingly. I know a lot of people actually didn't like it that much but I personally was a big fan of Unova. I thought it was a great region and I thought it had a really good story to it. Now to the right side we are actually going to find Reshiram so let's go ahead and catch Reshiram as well. I don't know why this side a little bit quieter I guess they're just kind of separating them there but with that guys man restaurant looks really really cool props to the developers for making this Pokemon look so fantastic so let's go ahead and use another master ball then and we are coming close to finishing up all these legendaries I'm actually really excited because after this we can make our way to the world championship and that's what I've been looking forward to for a long time. With that, Reshiram has been caught. It is the Wind Chime Pokemon. And we will be making our way to another legendary, which I guess you guys could take a guess of who it's going to be. It's not too difficult. But I'm going to go ahead and make my way out of here then, guys. And I will see you once we make our way to the next legendary Pokemon. But there also seems to be something here. Not really. I guess not. I'll see you guys there. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, so we're actually back here in Drake Breath City. Took a little bit for me to figure out the best route for us to get to this next legendary because I wasn't actually too sure of how to get there. But I've gone ahead and planned it out for us, so we should be able to do this now. This is probably one of the fastest ways to get to this Pokemon. And now this is actually kind of strange. It's kind of a hidden away area that I don't think we've explored before. I at least don't remember us exploring so it might be a new area to some of you guys i think it's definitely going to be a new area to me at least i don't remember going through it whatsoever but let's go ahead and make our way through this route then this is actually a pretty common route the team steam base is right there so you guys should remember when we made our way through this it was actually quite simple and you know what thinking about it goof has actually come in very handy throughout all this i'm kind of glad we've had him but with that we're gonna have another battle As I was saying, it's definitely paid off having Goof on our team so far. And now it's here to the right. There's a little hidden area here. I don't know. I don't believe I saw it. It's the peak of Mount Hume, I guess you could call it. And, I mean, that's pretty similar to the name of the Pokemon we're going after. So let's go ahead and make our way to the peak then. And it is here that we will be taking on one of the biggest legendaries we have seen yet. So let's go ahead and challenge Kyrum then. And this is actually going to be a little bit exciting. So there we have it, guys. We have Kyrum ready to be caught. Now, I guess the mountain was named after it. I don't know. I really do not remember us even coming close to this area. So I guess it's kind of cool. Cool that we still get to explore some areas we never saw before in this game. Little hidden secrets everywhere in this game, I guess you could say. With that, though, we went ahead and caught Kyrum. So with that, guys, we are one legendary away from wrapping things up with the legendary catching. So with that, guys, I'm going to make our way to the final location. See you guys in a little bit. So with that, we are back here in Nurmik City, and I told you guys, we kind of started things around here, and this is where we're going to finish things off with the legendary Pokemon. Now, to the right, we use the Rainbow Pass to make our way to catch Ho-Oh, but it is here, here that we will be transferring to Alpha Island through the Blimp, and we will be catching the last legendary Pokemon in Light Platinum, which is exciting. Hey, how's everybody doing? Hey, guys, look, I'm flying. This is kind of nice. Wow, it's getting a little chilly, getting a little bit cold. All right, I'm a little terrified of the height, but we are here on Alpha Island, and this is where the last of the legendary Pokemons will be caught. So this is it, guys. Are you excited? This is going to be the last legendary Pokemon in this game, unless I magically forgot one, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be it. I'm feeling pretty good about it. We've caught almost every single Pokemon created so far so let's go ahead and enter alpha island then guys and here is where it begins now i'm pretty sure this is going to be a pretty huge cave to explore considering the pokemon that's gonna be at the end of this cave you guys might have already guessed we have caught so many pokemon from kanto from johto from Sinnoh, from unova we've caught a ton of different pokemon we caught hoenn pokemon we've caught almost every single one and this story, I guess you could say, surrounded around one Pokemon, the creator of all of these different legendaries who helped create the Earth, the world, the Pokemon, all those sorts of things. So with that, here in Alpha Island, we will be going after the biggest of the legendaries. I guess you could say probably the biggest of legendaries of them all. Probably the one that's kind of the hardest one to catch or the biggest one to catch or the most important one. With that, guys, we have made our way to the top of Alpha Island. In front of us is our so let's go ahead and challenge the big boss, the god of Pokemon, Arceus. Here we go, guys. Roger versus Arceus. This will be the last legendary Pokemon we are going to catch here in Light Platinum. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and just throw out a Luxury Ball just for fun because we do still have a Master Ball to catch it. So if you guys are going to go after Arceus with Ultra Balls, I'm really going to suggest you guys be really, really prepared because Arceus is a crazy Pokemon. This thing is really strong, especially if your Pokemon aren't as high level as mine are or are probably closer to Arceus. You better be prepared for a tough battle. We're going to go ahead and use the Master Ball, though, to wrap things up. You know, a Master Ball to catch the master of all Pokemon. And with that, guys, Arceus has been caught. 
gotcha. Arceus was caught, and we are looking quite great to continue on our adventure then, guys. So, with that, we are not going to be giving a nickname to Arceus, but we are looking good. Who would have thought we caught all the legendaries in this game? I know it took a little while because there were so many. I don't know, 30-something legendaries. I guess you could say that's going to take a little bit. But with that, you can actually fly out of this place, surprisingly. So let's go ahead and make our way back to Central City towards the World Championship. Yes, it is time for us to make our way there. I know we got a little peek of it before when we were going after Reggie Gigas. But you know what? Now we're actually going to make our way there, which I'm excited for. Jirachi was also lo located there. For those of you guys wondering. If you didn't check that, you should check that because that's where they are. If you're still looking for those Pokemon, if you're looking for all the Pokemon, I have gone ahead and caught them all. So now you can finally follow that along and hopefully catch all the Pokemon that you want before the World Championship because maybe you guys want to use them on your team. Once again, this is like the slowest train ever. So we have officially arrived here in the World Championship Island. So let's go ahead and make our way to the World Championship Dome because that is where we will be having our crazy battles and I'm excited for that. Make sure you guys give me tips on that. I'm actually a little nervous for the World Championship. I don't know what level I should train our Pokemon to. They're all high 70s, low 80s right now. So make sure you guys give me some tips on that because we will be having some of the toughest battles in this game as of yet. So get excited for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm actually really excited to wrap up this game. We will hopefully become the world champion after all that. So we have made it here to the entrance, guys. As you can see, there's a bunch of trainers. Make sure you give this video a like for all the legendaries we caught for the world championship. Get excited. Next time, we make our way inside of this dome and begin our road to becoming the world champion. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.